Unitree just unveiled new video of its G1 robot jumping, spinning, getting harassed, climbing stairs, and just turning up. The company says the video marks G1's upgrade to the mass production model. Here's everything we know about this humanoid robot and how it stacks up to the competition. At about four feet and four inches tall, the G1 isn't meant to intimidate with its size. For comparison, Boston Dynamics lists its Atlas robot as about five feet tall, Figure 2 is about five and a half feet tall, Digit from Agility Robotics is about five feet nine inches tall, and Tesla's Optimus Gen 2 is nearly six feet tall. The G1 learns new tasks both in simulation and by mimicking human demonstrators. These are very common training techniques in the humanoid robotics industry, from NVIDIA's Project Groot to Tesla's Optimus. Unitree has released clips of its G1 robot manipulating various objects, performing various tasks, and navigating uneven terrain. All these are relatively common benchmarks in the development of humanoid robots that we've seen before from other companies. Unitree's G1 weighs less than 80 pounds, significantly lighter than Tesla's Optimus, Atlas from Boston Dynamics, and the Figure 2, all of which weigh over 100 pounds. Being lighter may prove to be advantageous in terms of cost, shipping, and the fear factor. A lighter robot may be less likely to cause damage if it becomes sentient and seeks revenge. The G1 walks at a speed of about 4.4 miles per hour, which is a bit disappointing considering Unitree's previous humanoid robot, the H1, set a world record for fastest humanoid robot with a speed of about 7.4 miles per hour. The G1 can fold to less than three feet in size, presumably for storage and shipping. Unitree says the G1 will be available starting at $16,000. That's lower than Elon's less than half the price of a car estimate he gave on X for Optimus, and significantly cheaper than Boston Dynamics robot dog Spot, which starts at about $75,000. We don't have exact pricing for Atlas, Figure 2, or Digit robots yet, all of which are in various stages of ramping up for mass production. Unitree has made a name for itself as a more affordable alternative to its robotics competitors, offering lower priced robots first on four legs and now on two. With the humanoid robotics race heating up, it'll be interesting to see if the smaller size and more affordable price tag give Unitree's G1 an edge over the competition. What do you think of humanoid robots? Handy helpers or total nightmares? Let us know down in the comments. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm your host, Jesse Oral. See you next time with the fam.